sometimes people would look into your eyes and then they would make statements full of lie. They know they are lying. They know probably their mother knows they are lying. They know you know they are lying, but they would still lie. Of course, we do not expect much from such people who are also identified as the followers of Muhammad. Allah is identified as the best of deceivers, and he practiced that by deceiving the mother of Jesus as well as deceiving whole Christians. And same Allah even deceived his beloved prophet Muhammad. Therefore, you do not have much expectations from his followers. They would simply deceive and deceive. And in this deception, sometimes it gets your attention. They deceive in sake of making Islam look good. Surah 3 verse 28 background talks about, yeah, it's lying is okay. But is it intention is all. Islam is wonderful, beautiful, delightful religion. Full of lie, full of lie. I was recently identified as bad Christian, and some of the Christians are identified as good Christians. One of the amazing things is, as a Christian, my identity is in Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, because of his death and his resurrection, I am declared righteous. That's all matter to me. And according to Christian scripture, God made man and woman in his image. And every human being falls short of glory of God. Through death and resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ, I am not only declared righteousness, but also still I am identified as sinful. Therefore, we don't use such, as, such a term good or bad Christian. But I was amazed when it comes to the hypocrisy and deception, how Muslims simply think it's all right to go against the teachings of Allah and identify some people as they are best Christians, they are good people. Because that simply goes against Allah. Allah does not identify people of the book, the Christians and Jews, good people at all. In Surah 98, verse 6, we are identified as the worst of creatures. Not even worst of human beings, but worst of creatures. Think about rat, think about croquet, think about, I don't know, what kind of animal comes to your mind. You are worse than them. So Therefore, I do find a bit strange when Muslim states that, oh, you are good Christian or you are bad Christian. Let's listen to a short clip and then we take it from there. People, the Christians are lovely people around the world. What, who do you represent? The devil worshippers? They made you... Christians are lovely people around the world. According to who? According to Muslim missionaries who want Islam to look good. Not according to Allah and not according to Muhammad at all. All, not Allah, not Muhammad at all. According to them, Christians are the worst of creatures. Into Christians, you're trying to make a cause tension. You're trying to Page cause five hundred fifty. I know you're, 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 you're a Christian. Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? Look how nice this Christian man is. Look how nice this Christian man is. Look how nice this Christian guy is. According to him, according to the Muslim missionary. Not according to Allah, not according to Muhammad, you are still worst of creatures. You are still worst of creatures. Christians that want to make problems. The English Christians are the best people. Queen Elizabeth is a lovely lady. And you... English Christians are the best people? Hmm. Christians are the worst of creatures. I thought Arabs were superior to everyone. Arabs, not British, not... Turkish, not anyone but Arabs. Yet, Islam needs to look good because Islam has lots of holes in it. Therefore, what we do is, yeah, we simply deceive. We simply deceive. 
while Quran states you are the worst of creatures. Muhammad states you are the worst of creatures. Muslim missionaries want to make Islam look good. Do not fall into that trap. Whatever Muslim gives you a hug, Muslim gives you a handshake, remember, according to, even according to Quran, Christians and Jews shouldn't even be taken as friends. But you are worst of creatures, declares Quran. And of course, it is not only that. When the deception gets out of the control, we get to hear one of the silliest statements a Muslim missionary can ever make in public. I read it. Because of you. Let's look how, read look it. This man. He's a good man. I find it You're a bit amazing no, 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 that Muslims no, no. Man. Muslims don't even man. want to do you agree with what she's doing? Why? 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 Why don't you agree with me? You are willing to listen to what she's saying. I'm listening to what she's saying, but she no, keep on disrespecting me. I didn't yeah, disrespect any. I love you Jesus more than her. You don't love Jesus. I protect Jesus. I protect Jesus. Muslim claims that he loves Jesus more than me. Hmm. I find that a bit interesting. Allah never expresses his love to his son Jesus. Allah never expresses, Allah loves only those who love Muhammad. Hmm. Jesus never loved Muhammad. But Muslims are much better than Allah and Muhammad. Therefore, they love Jesus. They love Jesus. There is a story in John Gospel, end of John Gospel, where Peter expressed that, I, I love you, Lord. And Lord turns to Peter and then says, if you love me, feed my sheep. If you love me, feed my sheep. But that's not one I want to kind of focus on. I want to bring something to our attention. How do we know someone loves Lord Jesus Christ? It's not they, um, it's not by denying his death and his resurrection. It's not denying his glorification. It is not, it's not de by denying his work as the savior of the world. You cannot love Jesus with those denials. You cannot love Jesus with those denials. And you publicly, without any shame, lie. Muslim missionaries, of course, we have not much hope. But let's see what Jesus says. Those who love Jesus. You have heard me to say to you, I am going to, going, sorry. You have heard me say to you, I am going away and coming back to you. If you love me, you would rejoice because I said, I am going to the Father for my Father is greater than I. If you actually look at the context, it is the amazing image, amazing image where bridegroom goes and prepares the way for his bride. If you love me, you would rejoice as I am going to the Father. Of course, it's not only that. Of course, it's not only that. Also, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ simply says, If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. Which commandments Muslims are keeping? Zero. Like when I say zero, I really, really mean it. And there is no need for anyone to fall into the trap and think, yep, Muslims, Muslim missionaries think Christians are good people. Their God doesn't think you are good people. You are worst of creatures. Their prophet thinks you are worst of creatures. Please don't fall into traps when Muslim says, oh, I love Jesus. I love Jesus more than you. Show that you love Jesus. Accept his identity as the eternal son of God, who is the savior of the world. Follow his commandments and rejoice with his death and his resurrection, as that's the only hope. That's the only way you can simply tell the world and show the world that you love Lord Jesus Christ.